Hey YouTube, I'm Jesse with Cali Cool Guns. Welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be a basically what I carry in my range bag. And um, this is probably gonna be some helpful tips for your new gun owners or uh, maybe even seasoned veterans. I'm just basically gonna pull piece by piece out what's in my range bag and hopefully it helps you. Let's go ahead and dive right into the range bag. So this range bag, I'm not sure. I probably bought it at a local gun shop, but it's an Allen just in case you guys were, were uh, wondering. It got one, two, three, three zipper pockets um, and one main pocket. Let's go what's in the main pocket right off the bat. So first things first, I do carry my holster if you are at a range that allows you to draw from a holster. I throw it out in there, so there you go. That's not necessary, but that's what I keep. Hearing protection. Get yourself a good pair of hearing protection. I got these for free. I wouldn't spend four or 500 bucks on hearing protection. 120, 140 max is what I'll spend. Either get over the ear or get the ones that put in your ear. I have these ones. The next ones I'm gonna buy is gonna be the one inside the ear, so it's easier when I record the YouTube videos. So there you go. Good pair of hearing protection. That's not the only pair of hearing protection. I keep extra, I keep the little foam inserts. They'll probably be here somewhere in the back, but I keep those for extras in case I bring somebody and they don't have any. I got spares. Next is eye protection. 100% you need eye protection. You only got two eyeballs, you don't wanna lose them. So bring eye protection. I got dark and clear lenses. I got dark and clear lenses in this one. I have four pairs, just in case somebody didn't bring eye protection. I have an extra. And some more right there, some Oakleys. Dark lenses for the summer days, clear lenses if you're doing a little night shooting. Especially if you're shooting at still targets, you wanna have eye protection because the chance of ricochet. So get yourself some eye protection. Next thing I carry is a pair of gloves. Mechanics gloves, you can get them at Jiffy Lube, AutoZone, Amazon, everywhere, they're everywhere. I just been using these, they work for me. I've used them for like over six years. So yeah, I think they're like 20 bucks too. So wear gloves, California heat, right? <clears throat> I do carry an extra um, cleaning kit. Usually my guns are all clean before I go to the range and they're all oiled, but I do have a cleaning kit. This is dedicated to my range bag because I don't want to take it in and out from my house cleaning kit to this cleaning kit. So get a dedicated uh, cleaning kit for your range bag. Uh, one more thing too is the REM oil. So REM oil, cleaner, lubricant, CLP basically, just a lube. I use aerosol just because it's way faster at like, lubricating. I spray it in the action or the AAR or whatever, rack it back a couple times, get a rag, wipe off all the excess, and you're still shooting. There you go. I carry 50 rounds of target ammo and 20 rounds of self-defense rounds. That just in case of emergency, this is not what I use to shoot at the range, but this is in case of emergency. I just keep it in here. I run out of ammo and like, I really need another 50 and some self-defense rounds. I have it. Oh, here we go. I keep two additional bags. AR mag. This is not what I used to shoot, but just extra mags just in case like all the other mags break or somebody needs a mag. I got an extra AR-15 mag. Extra Glock 17 mag. I carry the Glock 17 mag because I have a Glock 19, Glock 17, and Glock 34, and this mag will fit in all of them, so I keep this one in there. Keep handy. Two additional mags. And the little Glock, um, the one that helps you load rounds into your magazine. This helps if you're over shooting over like 500 rounds and you got weak ass thumbs, use this, right? Or you got somebody new loading magazines. If they wanna shoot, load their own magazine, right? Tell them use this so they don't, don't cry about their thumb. So let's go to this pocket right here. This pocket right here looks like an admin pocket. I keep some markers, all different colors. So what I use for these markers is like if I'm zeroing in a red dot, I shoot my first three rounds, and then I'm like, okay, those th that first grouping is right there. I mark it with blue. Adjust my optic, shoot another three rounds, mark it with green. Adjust my optic. Shoot another three rounds, I should be confirmed by then, and I'll mark it with red. And then I'll do another three to confirm my zero. I'm on target, adjust my sights, bam, there you go. That's what I use my markers for, right? So if you got optics, most people do, get some markers in there. Same thing, I got a Sharpie. I do carry sticky notes, so you're not buying like a million paper targets if you're at an indoor range. I buy like two, and then I use paper targets. I put literally on, on, the, on that target, and I aim for this if I'm looking for accuracy. 
And before I leave the range, I try to hit like two sticky notes without missing any rounds in the middle, just to close out the range session. So sticky notes, save you some uh, money. <clears throat> some more cleaning supplies. I got square cloths and I got that extra hearing protection. I only got two left because nobody ever brings hearing protection whenever I go with them. And some Q-tips. Some more cleaning stuff, there you go. And some nasty CLP. This is like surplus CLP. I keep it in a Ziploc bag, but it looks like motor oil, but it's not. But some more oil for the gun, just in case. And let's see what else. Oh, important, batteries. You need batteries. For all your optics, keep spare batteries in a Ziploc bag and just throw it in your bag. I got double A's, triple A's, CR123's, 2016's, 2032, 9-volt. There's been so many times where I went to the range and I left the red dot on and it, and it died between my range visits. I get to the range, I'm like, damn, my red dot's dead. And I didn't bring any extra batteries, so now I carry extra batteries in my range bag. So that's that pocket. Let's go ahead and move to this pocket. This is going to be my medical pocket right here. So I do keep medical, medical supplies every time I go to the range. You never know. Especially if you're shooting still targets. There's been a couple times where you get hit with ricochet and you don't know you're bleeding and then you end up bleeding, you know, but yeah. Or fragments from the still targets, but I carry a tourniquet. If you know how to use them, use them. If you don't, probably someone at the range knows how to use them, but basically to cut off circulation, I carry two. Some gauze to stuff some wounds just in case you had them. Some medical tape. Let's see, some more gauze. Some bandage. And important thing too, shears. If you want to find out where somebody's bleeding, the quickest way to cut off all their clothing is with these. These are super strong. They'll even cut like through a dime. So it's crazy. Cut off all the clothes, find out where they're bleeding at. And some more uh, bandages. And last thing, a hyphen chest seal. If somebody gets hit with a round by accident or fragments or whatever, they get hit. You have some chest seals. You find the injury wound. You find the exit wound. You put that sticker on them. It should hold them off for a while until medical services provide. That's basically what I carry in my medical kit. My last pocket. Let's get right into that one too. Oh, this is my tool pocket. So I went over my medical kit. Now I got to put everything back crazy. <laughs> my tool pocket. I carry this multi-tool. A lot of people know it as a Gerber Leatherman multi-tool. I had, this brand is specific Leatherman. I had it since 2014. It works very good for me. Get yourself a multi-tool in there. 100% you're going to need it to clear malfunctions, jams, anything, pry on stuff, open up ammo cans, stuff like that. You got it. So, there goes that. Next thing, screwdriver with multiple bits. So, you're most likely going to probably use this somehow. So, just get a little screwdriver at Home Depot, multiple bits easy to carry in there. All this stuff is carrying in my range bag. Uh, I got myself a little hammer. Somebody made it for me. They welded a hammer to a wrench. I use the hammer just to clear um, anything. I mean, you, I mean, you can use it for anything, right? It's very small and compact, so I keep it in there. Light. I have one light right here, and I have a headlamp. So if you need a light, I use a headlamp too. Headlamp is really good, so you can be hands-free and still have a light. Good idea. It's red, blue, and green and clear. And I got some more tools here. Got a wire brush right there to scrub off some rust spots or whatever. I uh, got a little small, little tiny pick. You need to pry little springs out or Glock triggers or any kind of kind of springs. This will help you out. And I got a cleaning rod. This is like that one long one where you screw. So you could use this for many things as well. You could use this if there's something stuck inside your barrel and you need to knock it out. Put all these together, screw them together, and then use the hammer and knock it out. Bam. So you, you keep uh, spending your time at the range. Depending how stuck it is in there. But most of the time, you get this in there, you'll be good. And firearm safety certificate. I carry that because I am in California. Carry my firearm safety certificate. You never know. I want to leave the range or I'm at the range and they sell firearms. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm going to buy a gun. So keep that in there. And that's basically my range bag. Comment down any tips that you think that can improve my range bag or any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching the video. We made it to 2,000 subscribers and we, we passed that already. So my next giveaway will be at 3,000 subscribers. When we get closer to that time, I'm gonna do another giveaway. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet, but stay tuned, keep watching the content. 
let's grow together. Remember, California-based uh, gun channel, but I'm pretty sure this will help just about any new gun shooter or any person that just purchased a firearm. Build your range back. If you got any questions, uh, DM me on Instagram. My Instagram will be in the in the link in the description. If you didn't see the last video, I took out a Franklin Army CA320 to test fire. Go check that out. But again, thank you guys for watching, and let's keep it going.